Let's talk about this PC80B Easy ECG monitor by Heelforce. I bought this back in 2019, and I, so I've had it for about four or five years now. I really like this monitor, uh, this ECG monitor. I use it just to help me monitor my own heart rhythm or and heart rate. I use it uh, to download PDFs and send them to my cardiologist on occasion when I have a question just so he has some reference. And although it's not a diagnostic tool, it does help me get a sense of what uh, maybe um, I may be feeling. So I really like it. I throw it in my backpack. You can see it's still in great shape. I don't have a case for it or anything like that. I just literally throw it in the backpack. It uses two AA batteries. It comes with two AA batteries, but I just use my own, and I've um, replaced them maybe twice, if that, and it's pretty much a self-contained unit. Let me just talk about some things that, that came with it. So it came in this box, and there's different types of this uh, ECG monitor. Apparently, there's, there's, this, there's the one I have. There's this other one called the Prince 180P, which comes in blue or orange. I'm not sure what... The difference is in terms of that versus mine. And then there's a PC88, uh, 80A, which apparently is wireless. So I have the 80B, which, uh, which one I'm going to talk about. I don't, uh, you can look up on the internet about what those other ones are. I like this one. What this came with in the box was this ECG viewer, which is like an, uh, like a software program, or I guess the term now is app. Um, but the software program is a CD-ROM, so I don't know if you have one on your computer, but I um, I have one on my desktop, and I really like this. It's a very basic application, and what it does is it connects, you connect your, P, this, your device to a PC using a cord that was included in mine. This may not be the exact cord, but I have, uh, I have my own. I don't think this is one. This is pretty long one, but I think this is one of my own and looks reminds me of the ones that came with the BlackBerry. So if you look at the tip here, you can see if you have one of your own in, in you know, your basement or something, but this just attaches here to the top and then it connects to your computer through the USB. It'll say it's connecting and then you open the app and then you can download whatever data you want. You can create a PDF. You can, I think you can print it out and you can type notes on the on the on the um, the report that it has. You can store them however you want. So uh, just you know when you do if you do order this, just see what it comes with. It may or may not come with this cord. I'm not sure. Just look at what packaging comes with it. Also, come mine came with this uh, these uh, ECG um, uh, leads. And what this is is plugs into the top here. If you want to use the the lead similar to like what you go you experience in the doctor's office or the hospital where they use a 12 lead. Uh, this has three electrode connections uh, they're different colors and then what like le left, right, and then uh, F. Um, and so you, you, you uh, mine came with some electrodes, but uh, then I bought some of my own. And so you can just look at that. These aren't very expensive. So I bought some as well. I think I lost my original one, so I just spent a little money and bought these, not expensive. These just clip on pretty easily to any standard electrode, and then you put them on your chest. Um, where you place them determines the type of lead and reading you're gonna get. So these would move in different places on your chest, and that's all explained uh, in this great manual. I just wanna say this user manual is great. It's well-written. It talks about um, the ways to use it, like, you know, how, you know, different ways to use it on your body, how these leads work, how to position the leads. It even gives a basic, uh, quick overview of the waveform that you see on the ECG and what uh, the different parts mean uh, on here, like the QRS um, interval, different letters, and the, then some basic understanding of different types of conditions that your heart rate may be, uh, you know, demonstrating and stuff like that. But this is not a diagnostic tool, but it, it's surprisingly very, very thorough. Actually, you know, maybe not surprising, but very pleasantly thorough. Um, and then explains you know, like a summary of 
the what when it gives you a summary what what kind of summary is, is it giving you so i really like this is very well thought out and it comes with these AAA batteries as well which uh, connect again in the back here and um, i've only replaced a couple times so uh i just use my own batteries i as you can see i never unwrap these ones and uh the so that's, uh, you know, very pleased with all that. So uh, the way main way I use this is as a handheld. So I don't use these cords too often. I have used them a couple of times. And when you do use the cords, they're continuously recording. So it's using up the memory, but you know, that, but it'll continuously record. So there's no time limit on it, except the amount of memory. And uh, you don't want to move around too much because you move around the, the, the um, the reading has a lot of artifact. It jumps around. Basically, I don't think it's worth much if you don't if you move around because it causes a lot of like just the the uh, reading just goes all over the place. So if you are going to use the cords, you probably want to be laying down or sitting, but not moving. Um, so I've used it a couple of times, but generally uh, I just use it as a handheld. So to use, let me just show you the device now. Very very straightforward device, turn it on. Let me just do that again. So when you turn it on, it'll say, please consult the doctor, don't use for self-diagnosis, press this symbol to, to use it, but then it goes to the screen. So um, basically on the screen has this measure, which me will activate you know the uses, the testing, it has review, and it shows you different, um, your historical, uh, reading so it can actually store quite a few of them and these symbols just are sort of like a summary was something wrong or was it okay or wasn't okay has the date with the day first month and then the time and then um you can look for example at a pre prior recording and you can see on the bottom this is the total strip itself and so then it's showing the recording the heart rate the time um and then you want to go back here and then when you download it you'll see that list of recordings you can choose the ones you want you can move them to your computer you can create a pdf and uh share that with whoever just store them so it's really simple to use using this app on this ecg viewer even if you don't have the app this is just or the software still good just to check on your own you can even record with your iphone or something if you need to but this, so this shows how much memory. So it looks like there's about 32, uh, 31, 33 um, megabytes, I guess that would be 33,000 megabytes or so 32,000 megabytes. Uh, I mean, kilobytes would be 32 megabytes, I think. Um, so, you know, it, it stores a lot of information. It's not like this data takes a lot of space. So just to go back here, then the settings, you can set the different things like brightness and language and beeping noise, et cetera, time date. If the battery runs out, you need to reset the time or for daylight savings, et cetera. And then there's a help here, which basically walks through. You can do it your palm again, like I said before. You can do it on your chest underneath your left nipple, um, which gives a different lead. And then leg measurement, which then gives a different lead as well. I personally mainly, and then the lead wire, so you can see how they're positioned and you move them around to get different lead types, like different lead um, uh, angles. So like like there's 12 lead, I think EKGs in the hospital and the doctor and what that means basically, if you, it's the way that they're measuring the electric path. So like there may be different angles it's measuring from, that's what I think the different leads represent, but. You may want to look that up if you want to understand what that means. So as you can see, it turns off by itself if you don't use it, which is kind of cool. Save the battery. Um, and then, uh, so how do you use this? Um, basically, my main way I use it, I think, which is lead one, I just hold it in my hands, the most convenient. And then you just press the button. So it's ergonomic and well-designed. So here you can see it's in my palm and basically on my index finger into my right palm to my left and then on my left side into my thumb, sort of in that pocket there, just press that and then it'll prepare. And the reading sometimes looks different. This one's kind of low and then it'll start counting down. And then it starts doing its reading.
you don't want to move around too much. Just let it do it what it needs to do. As you can see the time it's taking. And you can see at the bottom of the graph, like it progressing. So it says no irregularity found, 77. If there was a irreg irregularity, it would say something and give a little summary. I can show you what like some something else said. For example, if I do review and I go to the one, the unhappy faces and press it, it'll, it'll go through it and um, you'll see what happens at the end. So there, as you can see, it's moving on the bottom here as well. So then at the end, it'll, it says suspected irregular beat interval, which maybe, maybe it wasn't perfectly rhythmic. So it's just telling you that again, it's not a diagnostic tool meant to be a diagnostic tool, but it, it, you know, it, it, for me, it's just given me some, some check of some sort, like, you know, um, you know, otherwise I'd be checking my pulse or something like that. But, you know, overall, it's really good. Just don't move around this, you know, who knows what caused that. But again, I can download this if I want to onto my PC and then using this app, this ECG viewer, and then I can send that to my doc, uh, you know, online and, you know, see what he thinks. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's just good. I think it's just, as you can see, it turned off by itself saving the battery. So this is the PC ADB Heal Force. Um, I think I paid about ninety five dollars. You know, this was four or five years ago. I think the price may still be about the same. There's again, there's different versions of it, as I showed here and here. Like you know, there's different. Just when you do look into it, just just look at what it describes. It can do. Does it connect to your computer? What what does it come with? I wouldn't say this is a make or break deal. Having these cords, I've used them maybe three times. Again, if you move around, it doesn't work great. But hey, you know, if you want, if you want to lie there and just get a, a cleaner reading and a longer reading, it will do that. So, um, and then you can, you know, play around with, you know, positioning the electrodes according to the book to get different leads and maybe even just be, learn about the different leads on the internet, um, you know, what they mean and stuff like that. But I think this is a pretty good device. I, and again, it's very portable. Batteries last a long time. You can see it's still in great shape. I am I am pleased with, I'm glad I bought this four or five years ago. I still have it, obviously, I still have the parts. Just keep everything together in the box. You don't misplace stuff. It's easy to throw stuff around. Again, you can use any you know plug that's like this. Like, you know, you might have an old Blackberry or something. You know, this, this you know, you, you may have to get a CD-ROM or something. Or maybe you can find it online. I have no idea if you contact the company. And then you can get these electrodes pretty much online anywhere. They're pretty cheap. Um, but I think mine came with some. And then the AA batteries, which last a long time. So hopefully that's helpful. You know, stay healthy. Uh, you know, if you're watching this video, it's probably you were interested in getting an EKG. I personally like this. There are other ones out there that I've seen where you use your fingers, connects to your phone and things like that. Um, I just like this one. It's very basic, self-contained. Uh, you just download the stuff as you need it. You know, maybe the Wi-Fi one would have been cool, but I think, you know, sometimes just having the basic one is, is, is good enough and, you know, the cord works fine. Manual is great. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and I'll try to answer them. If I get a chance, maybe I'll put a link to this product if I can find it online. Uh, and uh, so make it convenient for you to, to check it out. Um, but I hope this was helpful. And uh, if, again, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the uh, comment section. Personally, again, I really like this. It's not a diagnostic tool, but it's just helped me just check when, uh, you know, I just want to check what's going on. So uh, have a great week and uh, thank you for listening.